Hi everyone, welcome to Jamie's Product Reviews. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment on all good stuff. I'll get that out of the way. Um, today's uh, uh, product review is something unique. You're probably familiar with Steak and Shake restaurants. They serve wonderful food at those locations. Uh, I've reviewed a few items in the past and they are wonderful, but this is a, a grocery product of theirs because now they're, they're hitting the Steak and Shake is hitting the grocery market. And this is one of their items in the uh, freezer. This is the chicken fries with buffalo sauce. Now, the thing is, I was going to do a food fixings review, but the problem is, I, I tried to prepare the buffalo sauce that came with this. That didn't quite work out so well. I mean, it's a rather unorthodox way of, of heating it up, and I just didn't like it. So I, I decided to just 86 the buffalo sauce all together, and I got me some uh, honey barbecue sauce. I'm just going to be reviewing the chicken by itself. So, this is Steak and Shake chicken out of the freezer. And we'll see how this is. I cooked it for, I think, for about 20 minutes or so. On 400 degrees. There's four servings here. Each serving has 5 grams of fat. That's not too bad. 35 milligrams of cholesterol, 520 milligrams of sodium, 17 grams of carbs, 2 grams of sugars, 15 grams of protein, and 180 calories. Could be worse. So, without any further ado, let's get this going. I hope I've cooked these thoroughly. I had to. I cooked, 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 I cooked them longer than I, than I was told to. Yeah, the barbecue sauce works better with this because I don't know why they insist on selling pouches of sauce with the chicken and having you heat it up in a bowl thought or a thought in the bowl for however long. You know, that just doesn't work. At least whenever I've tried it, it hasn't worked. So if you're gonna if you're, if you're gonna sell sauce that goes on with the chicken, you know, do it as a separate item. But anyway. This chicken's not bad. I mean, I think I cooked it just right. It's it's tender and it's got a nice uh, kind of crispy and succulent flavor to it. Yeah, this is better than I thought it was going to be. So it's not the best frozen chicken I've had, but I mean it's. It's great, but it's not excellent. But it's still very good. I gave it a, a high 4 out of 5. And it's going to be my review. See you next time. Bye-bye.